everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to make Magento file and database backups via the backend. Um, so before we do that, I just want to mention that you can also set up scheduled backups, um, both programmatically and in the backend. But here I just want to show you how to manually make backups. Okay. So what you want to do is go to System, Tools, and Backups right here, which is the page I'm on right now. Um, and so all you're really going to do is just use these three buttons to make a backup. So system backup are the actual files, the code itself. Uh, database uh, backup is the actual database information and media backup is are the media folder. So all of your images themselves. Typically the media folder uh, has a very good chance of being the biggest size. So that's why they kind of separate it as far as uh, I could guess. Um, so let's create a backup right here for the database. Let's call it uh, name, let's just call it um, DB Backup My Site, and then I like to actually just have some kind of date maybe. So October 22, 2016, okay? Um, and so once you do that, you have the option to put your store in maintenance mode while the system does it or not. So if it's a live site, of course, uh, you don't really want to do that, if, but um, it's kind of a good thing to, to do that, okay? So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to click on OK. And now the system is going to start to run. So that's it. So in this case, we just have a temporary site uh, just for videos and just playing around. So the backup went very, very quickly. I can actually roll back or I can just click here to actually save it to my computer. Right here, I saved it. Now I have a copy. So the same thing applies to system and database backup. But these are files and these typically take a lot, a lot of time. If you notice here, the database backup is less than one megabyte right here okay so if I click on system backup I do basically the same thing the only difference is I can exclude the media folder if I want the backup to be only the code and not the media folder and for database and backup it's basically the same as database so um, that's it so it's good to, to make regular backups of course uh, the better way for code is to use git or some kind of version control um, and it's just good, a good idea to always have regular backups so hope this makes sense uh, let me know if you have any questions for any other methods automated methods I'll be happy to help uh, thank you